Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part four of Abandoned Kids, The Teen Years. And if you're returning, welcome back. And while it is the teen years, we're right now concentrating a little bit on Amelia and the um, single clubs gathering that I had. But for some reason, when I took Amelia out, both of the her brothers ended up coming home from school and then their responsibility fell out <laughs> the range for um the responsible trade which hopefully just doing their homework will help but they're at home right now but since this was all about supposed to be all about amelia meeting some single young adults i figured i'd leave them there and they're working on their logic skill so hopefully i'm able to have these two gatherings at the same time i have done it a little bit a little bit um and i'm going to it looks like some child was here <laughs> making a mess oh she's making a drink she's gone over to make herself a, are you making yourself a drink yep you're making a sea splash okay <laughs> always good so what i want to do is to try and go oh i see so i added her and she is a um in the club but i guess she was a mixologist so they're going downstairs i guess they're going down to go bowling and then she's home too okay so much for me taking i ended the club gathering for them so i don't know why they all came home from school but i guess it is what it is so you can work on your logic too so you're all there because i was thinking going out during the day while they're at school was a good thing but it turns out it took them all away from uh school so here is uh i've i've shown this before and perhaps even in my band and kids let's play it is the karaoke ball hoops in the bar in the city but i have added some bowling downstairs which of course it doesn't classify as bowling because no one will come because it needs to be a bar or a lounge or a nightclub and it's a karaoke bar so if i changed it to be a, like and it will qualify to be any of those three because it has all the traits that you need um they uh the only people who are going to use the bowling are the sims that have come with them so who is this this is uh felicity felicity paul so are you playing this game you're playing with uh diego and annie and beatrice so they beat diego annie as i already mentioned beatrice and max are all from my foster child let's play as is kara sue i always call her kara sue sue is her last name where are you going oh you're going to go get your drink and you were supposed to play, but you went. And they, all five of them, are the toddlers that... They didn't come with the toddler stuff pack, but they were put to, created by Maxis and put on the gallery, sort of, to, like, wearing all the toddler stuff pack clothes, which, of course, they're all now grown up <laughs> and young adults. But that's where they came from. But they uh, they got all their skills and stuff in the foster. They, they became foster kids in my foster child challenge. So she is playing. She just went and got her drink. So why don't you? Can you talk while you play? Why don't you? Yeah, nothing here to. To do a knock knock joke. <laughs> Can't say any of those things are really the most exciting. Uh, you can flatter. Because, of course, we can't do an introduction, and that's the disadvantage of meeting Sims through clubs, is that the relationship is, you know, if you don't already know them, you, you get a little bit of a boost to your relationship, but it's nothing like what you would get if you actually introduced yourself with the incredibly friendly and the polite trait, for that matter. So, are we, and we also have to, like, work to learn <laughs> their, their traits, <laughs> other than we know for sure that some of their traits are from the uh you know at least one they all have to at least have one of the traits that i said as um oh eric is level seven of logic so let's go try and introduce ourselves let's just there's so uh, it take, does, definitely takes a lot also max is a geek <laughs> friendly why don't we see if he has a career i don't know that he does unless he came with one Whereas some of the others, when I played with them, they had careers. So when you switch them between saves, if they already had a career, they keep their careers. They don't lose their careers. If you save them to your library or the gallery and they have a career, Max did not have a career. 
I didn't remember who, who I gave careers to. I, I'm pretty sure I remember now. They, I moved them out pretty much as soon as they, the first three aged up and didn't get them jobs. But the last, Kara, Kara and um, Beatrice stayed at the foster home while they were young adults a little bit. So they were given careers. So they have careers, but the other three were not given careers, if I remember correctly. So if they had careers, it had to be given to them by the game. So, not that it really matters, you know, it's easy enough to do a career, <laughs> to pick a career. <laughs> so, let's try and become friends with Diego. Compliment art. Oh, they're standing in each other, playing darts. So, there's all sorts of, like, a nice little seating area here. There is a, um, arcade thing, which if I added that to the activities, they would probably be trying to use that. Put a popcorn maker there. Diego is creative. And let's let's get to know a little bit more about Tristan. Let's see. We can share some mixology secrets. I don't seem to want... The only disadvantage about not making a romantic interactions is I think it maybe tends to only show like the... So he is romantic. I don't remember their traits, to be honest, even though I did... I did look at them all when I added when I picked and added them, but uh, other than I was okay with all the traits, I don't remember what the traits were. There's only a couple of traits I don't really like. Jealous is one, kleptomaniac is another, evil, not big fan of mean, and really don't like hates children. Since she her goal is to have a family. She doesn't want someone who doesn't, who hates children. I mean, that caused a lot of the problems in their family because not only did the mother leave, she went, ended up going to someone who hated children. So, you know, she was all about the money. And so, oh, that was boring. He's bored and there was a negative there. <sighs> and I don't remember what I said. Because <laughs> I got too much lined up. Let me think. Talking to too many people. Deep conversation. Will that help? Will you uh, be okay with that, Tristan? Can we express admiration? He's confident. Now he's happy. Try gossiping. Trying to learn your traits. Oh, we can make a toast. <laughs> the thing that I always struggle with in parties is making toasts. So can we brighten day? Did we learn anything else about him? We know he's romantic. Oh, he's family oriented. So that's kind of good since we want to have a family friendly <laughs> well we're friends with him we can make we can ask him to move in and i'd rather not do another deep conversation i'd prefer to have like get to know discuss interest also helps you get to know a trait deep conversation get to know and discuss interest those are all good things if you don't have the observant trait or in this case where even though we have the observant trait we you know didn't with the observant trait you learn the traits upon a introduction and since we got introduced <laughs> hypothetically through the club that doesn't count so we have to actually like get to know them to learn their traits so we're gonna do it oh so max is creative i was just actually about to ask him some stuff let's let's talk to karasu let's ask about day this is all about getting to know them all oh it's hair it's happy hour here so you can have drinks at discounted prices just trying to become friends with everybody is all we're trying to do max loves the outdoors uh we can ask about career so we have all three of his traits and he is a friend and he's unemployed but that really doesn't matter because Jobs are easy to get. I mean, for that matter, she's unemployed, but she makes more, makes more money being unemployed than she would in a job. Because she, because uh, <laughs> I do find that in Sims, you can make a lot of money, you know, just doing your own thing. Especially if you make those vampire cures and sell them on the uh, table. 
So she can she still make a toast? You know, we'll ask about her day. Oh, we're friends with Kara. So don't, maybe he does, because we seem to be becoming friends. So we're not friends with... We can give parenting tips. <laughs> you got to be interested in parenting tips. Diego, you're playing darts. We could join darts with you guys. Uh, I know he's, he's unemployed, but we'll ask anyways. And let me see. I'm just actually trying to ask for your traits. No, we don't want to ask you to move in. We're only going to ask the person that we want to have a relationship with. So we already know his traits. We shouldn't really be asking him his traits. Okay. I don't think we learned Tristan's traits. So let's talk to him a little bit more. Well, we learned two of his traits. I think we have one more trait that we need to learn. Deep conversation. So we know... Although we know we, we know Max and Diego look actually kind of similar now that I look at them. They got the same as space. Eyes are different. But when they're here, so we know Max's traits. We don't know Diego's traits. And Tristan? Uh, I don't know if you like logic puzzles. Is that what made you... Oh, your loves the outdoors. So we have one true in common trait and then we have you know the fact that I consider her to be family oriented she just doesn't happen to have that trait <laughs> so I consider her to be family oriented she just isn't <laughs> in the game officially family oriented because she only has the uh she can only have. So Julia is unemployed. Are you really? Because you look like you're a mixolo mixologist, I have to say. You're you're dressed in an outfit that strikes me as a mixologist outfit. So I'm a bit surprised that you're unemployed. Yeah. I don't care, as you know, but I'm still surprised. And that's almost the same as being unemployed because as soon as you meet them in they, they you know they quit that job anyways so discuss interests so and we don't have and we know all it's max we don't know all his no it's diego see i get max and diego mixed up diego we don't know all your traits you can say goodbye and that's considered friendly <laughs> so you don't have to do anything about that and uh, we'll try and discuss interests and oh she was about to go play bowling or go watch bowling and we learned tristan so we actually became friends with a few of them that was good i think she needs to get home it's late in the day and she needs to go home and see her siblings but we had some luck with this gathering but i don't know that i'll be doing this again in the daytime because it took the kids home from school which meant that both of uh, Eric and Sylvia didn't get their A's, and Sylvia was like in line to get an A. I'm not saying Eric was, but the other, but she was. So I think I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks very much for hanging out with me, and hopefully we can do this again sometime. And I will be back once she gets back home. So Amelia's back home, and I brought along Shahir because she hadn't had a chance really to talk to him yet, and I did bring. Yes, I did ring Sawyer, who we met yesterday. But really, she should... Oh, she needs to have a shower. Okay. <laughs> She's gone off to have a shower. And uh, I did ask the others to come out to introduce themselves to Shahir so that they could all become, hopefully, friendly. They'll be friendlier with Shahir than, than Amelia will be because, of course, they're not in the club. So, therefore... And why, oh, you're hungry. You need to eat something, my boy. Let's go... Why don't you eat, finish eating your BLT sandwich once you're finished. Oh, look, we got a level five of charisma. Very good. So you've introduced yourself to someone else and you're now hungry. So you should probably go eat. We're going to grab. I guess I could have just said get leftovers, but you know. I didn't. <laughs> Every now and again, I forget about that. Oh, he's playing the violin. <laughs> you can tell he's one of the Sims I raise because they pretty much all know an instrument. <laughs> Always. <laughs> but, uh, though I suppose Amelia doesn't really know an instrument that well, does she? Yeah, she doesn't because she knows piano a little bit because she was a teen. And... Okay, you should come. You know what? You should clean this up because you... Oh, you can't. Are you sitting at the round table? 
Yes, you are. So that's why you can't clean it up. You can clean it up, though. Yeah. Because there's a glitch, reported glitch, that if you're sitting down, and I've heard it's tied to the round tables, that you can't um, clean up. Oh, I could have just put it away, thrown it in myself. But I'm going to have him clean it up. Because they all lost some responsibility. And you know what? It's early enough in the day, and their needs aren't that great, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, rallying, one rallying of the troops, just to get boost their skills, boost their needs a little bit, just because... And then once we've done that, we can, I'm going to, uh, he needs some fun. I was going to have him do some gardening, but he needs some fun, so that may not be, so you know what you're going to do? You're going to listen to music. Oh, she here is a dog lover. I forgot that. So then you're going to go water that. And we're going to get to know and get that out of our way, hopefully. There we go. And compliment his outfit. He's a geek. Do we do we know any other traits? Geek and a love a dog lover. That's not very good. You should clean that up can share some mixology secrets and then I don't think he has a career if I remember correctly and friendly try and look for his last trait which of course is discuss interest will work for that sometimes usually and Eric is level three so he's going in to do something I didn't see what quite Okay, so he left. I don't know where he's going. I'm, I'm, oh, we have something dirty here. Are you going to go clean it up for us? Very good. Oh, we got a pop-up. There. Oh, that's very nice of you to clean up. And are you, you're very playful. Why, why are you very playful? Oh, we need to look after the pet. We need to make sure we're going to feed him. I want to make sure that he's doing okay. How are his needs? His hunger is okay, but he's content for the other two. So that's good. So we're going to all play? Why don't we... I just find it dangerous to play, I have to say. We are going to... Yeah, I don't want to join the game. I don't know that we got your last trait. You, you, you obviously like gardening <laughs> since you're talking to the plants. I don't know why you're talking to the plants when you can talk to us. Yeah, we don't know his last trait and he didn't answer that. He's unemployed. We don't care if you're unemployed. We're not working either. We make our money from home. She's level 8 of charisma. And we're going to see if we can get that last trait. Deep conversation. Yeah, she doesn't seem to want to... I don't know, maybe we should turn off the club gathering and see if that's influencing what she wants to do. Did we get his last trait? He loves the outdoors, so that's a common trait they have. So of the ones that we've met so far, let me know if you have any uh, favorites as to, because I don't seem to be seeing any sign. Oh, there we go. We got a compliment appearance. So there's a, a slight sign that she has some interest in him. wonder what we would do with with the others, with uh, Sawyer. Maybe we just, oh, uh, maybe she's just, maybe she's just feeling flirty without feeling flirty because she wants to compliment both of their appearances. But, uh, so she seems to like the both of them a little bit. And maybe we should invite someone else over in the next part. A couple of other, of the other Sims, instead of having, like, a club gathering a little bit more. Like just a couple at one time. Though I thought that we're really doing much with, uh, Sawyer out here. Because he's busy playing a violin <laughs> instead of coming in and socializing. <laughs> but then she here went and talked to the plants. So I don't really say much. They both kind of went and did their own thing. And I'm sure if Amelia went over and talked to Sawyer, he would stop playing the violin too. So I think the kids need to do their... 
I'm going to start the gathering again. They need to get their homework done. And I think we will leave it here. So you, you met some of the Sims that were added to the to the world that were young adults. We still need to meet the teens that were added. And they, because uh, those are more, I think, of what I was given, if I remember correctly. Mostly it was uh, teens. It was a mix of teens for the, the teens in the household. But uh, we will leave it here. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!